Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Mops for Monkey. And today we're taking another, doing another review, and uh, this one I'm super excited about. I've been wanting one of these figures for quite some time. It is the Hulk figure, and let's go ahead and show them off. It is the Maestro. Uh, there we go. There he is. Look at that guy, man. Look at that guy. This guy's a big boy. He's ginormous. I've been wanting a Maestro figure for quite some time now. Uh, I haven't been able to pick my hands up, so now I did. So I'm pretty excited. I just barely got him in the mail. Um, super excited to show him off. Um, looking at him himself, it looks like an amazing figure um, with the detail that they have in um, the beard, in the um, pants, in the gauntlet, uh, wristband things. And it looks like it comes with two extra hands. So I'm pretty excited about this figure. So let's go ahead and take a look at the box a bit. So the figure's box is pretty nice. Um, of course, you got the mm, the mainstream like Hulk design where it's made of bricks. But instead, it's Maestro. Um, the side box art looks pretty dope. The back. And then right there, you can go ahead and pause this. And you can go ahead and take a read. The back box art is pretty nice, I would say. Um, and then the other side is exactly the same. And then the top has, of course, the iconic fist, since that's a new thing for the Hulk. Instead of the radioactive sign, it's the fist now. But yeah, uh, that's the box. Let's go ahead and break this bad boy open and uh, take a look at the figure himself. Alrighty, now we have him busted out of the box. This guy is a complete monster. This guy is ginormous. This guy's hefty. You could probably clock somebody over the head with this figure, and it would probably knock the guy out. <laughs> That's how heavy this bad boy is, um, which is not a bad thing. I actually like heavy plastic figures. Um, I don't know, it just makes him feel like I'm holding an Incredible Hulk toy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories with, of course, oh, oh I'm so sorry. just need my bipod. <laughs> um, but let's, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories, which, of course, are the hands of the figure first. Um, so you've got two sets of hands. You've got the opened hands and the fists. And the fists look pretty good. I wish they would have cleaned up the, a bit with the molding a bit on the hand itself. But overall, it's really well done um, with the, the veins. The freaking size is ginormous. This thing's like the size of like a quarter, which is insane. And it's got some pretty good weight to it too. You could probably just poof, knock somebody out with that thing too. Um, and the other hand's exactly the same. Really good figure. Really good molding with these hands. Alright, let's set those aside and look at the figure closely. Closer. Look at this guy, dude. He's an ugly mother licker. One ugly dude. Look at that guy. An old Incredible Hulk. If you don't know too much about the Maestro, the Maestro himself is... An alternate universe, or alternate, I guess it is universe, ultimate uh, universe of the Incredible Hulk if he became evil and took over the world. That's kind of the maestro. And um, Civil War Part Two was um, a huge thing about the maestro was to help or try to fight against um, allowing the maestro to become a thing. Um, but yeah, um, the figure himself looks really good. Look at the molding of the head. Look at all the creases and whatnot. Makes him actually look like an old man. I like how one eye is clo more open. This one's more open than this one. This one's a little bit more closed. It looks like anyways. It might not actually be true. Um, the molding of the, the, the teeth look really good. The beard and the hair feel really feel really good. Um, the, uh, the necklace, um, gold necklace thing, really good. Feels really good. It's uh, able to move pretty well around the neck it doesn't feel too restrictive so you can able to manipulate that the way you want it um head rotation with the beard and the hair it and the necklace it kind of it's a little difficult um but it's doable i don't know why would anybody want to fully rotate the head of um, these figures but again it's doable you can definitely do it if needed um and then it's got it's on a swivel pretty good swivel Again, the, the, the beard and the hair are kind of restrictive, but that's what's to expect when you have a beard on figures. 
not a lot of uh, movement is going to be able to be made um, with the head. Um, the body himself, um, again, this guy's ginormous. He is bigger than my hand. My hand's not a small hand. Like, it's probably a good eight, eight inches. Eight inches? Yeah, yeah, I'd say about eight inches. Um, this guy's ginormous. Um, the torso, torso's pretty well done as well. Kind of wish there was a little bit more of a paint job on the torso. It looks like there's more paint jobs on the arms and the head. Um, so it kind of throws the paint job off on the chest. But overall, it's pretty good. Um, the back, see the back's got a pretty good paint job going on. Um, it looks like he's got the freaking wings, which adds extra articulation. That's amazing, dude. Oh, heck yeah. That is, that's awesome. I, I love that when they add in the, the extra articulation in certain areas that you don't really expect it to be. Especially without being able to see it, dude. That's super nice. Um, it adds in the, uh try or the uh, muscles right there that's that's super nice I really enjoy when they add in certain muscles that aren't usually on figures um, a lot of texture into the the I don't even know what these are called the, the gills <laughs> um, the gills muscles I'm not correct me on the name of those muscles I should probably learn those those are probably my favorite muscles um, to ever flex on people <laughs> um, but yeah, the torso's really, really good. Again, only downfall is uh, that the front doesn't really match the arms very well. I think they could have done a little bit better of job with that. Um, Arm-wise, articulation. Um, you can only raise his arm up about that high. He's got full rotation of the uh, of the shoulder. And he's got bicep rotation. And he's got rotation of the elbow as well, which is nuts. And he can bend his arm about that much so no no 90 degree angles but that's fine I don't expect the Hulk being able to make 90 degree angle um, bends and stuff because he's got ginormous muscles you know muscles are hard if you watch videos of people that are muscly they can't even reach things on the on their backs a lot of them have even trouble wiping their own butts <laughs> and uh, the bracelet um, it's got rotation as well it's gonna be a little bit restrictive on the wrist um, as far as like bending it back and forth goes but still it's still got pretty good articulation wise um it's got full rotation like i said before and it can bend and go back um so that's the arms arms phenomenal molding paint job phenomenal i think they're really good um now the the pants and the legs again like i stated in the box the pants i really like the texture wise, they feel really good. Feels like a pair of jeans. Um, you can see the jean effect in these. You can see the ripples, really good. Um, tearing and the um, kind of the, again, the ripples and stuff to show that, I mean, he's wearing pants and they're, they're kind of tight on him because he's hulked out. So of course they're gonna be tight. Um, feet wise, again, pretty good molding. They've got the pegs on the bottom. They've got the, 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 the um, things on the bottom as well. Again, they do have a little bit of uh, paint right here showing kind of if it's an actual figure or not, which is fine, but I really wish they wouldn't do that because they've also messed with the figure. Just put it on the feet, dude. Put them on the feet. Um, Articulation-wise on the chest, the body, um, we've already showed off the, the back. Um, they've got uh, ab crunch. That's as far as you can bend backwards and forwards. And it kind of swivels a bit, and he's got full rotation of the hips. And leg-wise, leg articulation, you can do a pretty good split for, for a big guy. And he's got um, thigh rotation, and he's got uh, double pinpointed knees. So you can get a good bend on the knees, pretty good. You can get like a flying knee attack going on. Um, and then ankles. He's got pretty good articulation wise in the ankle and he's got ankle pivot pretty well um overall i i love this figure i i'm super excited i've got him i'm definitely adding him to the collection i believe i did a little bit of a review of the maestro um 
oh gosh, Mini Mate, I think that's what they're called, um, Mini Mate. Um, and I was pretty excited that I found out that they had a figure of them. But I can't remember what year this figure came out. Um, I think it might have came out while I was on my mission. It's only 2021, Hasbro 2021, so it might have just came out recently. Um, I would look it up, but I'm on my phone recording this. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let me know what year this um, this came out. I might just look it up and put it in the comments below if you're wanting to know when this bad boy came out and whatnot. Um, but yeah, let me know how you guys feel about this figure himself. I again, I I love this figure. It's phenomenal. It's a whole figure that I can get behind. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. It helps me out a ton. Also, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're almost at 150. Um, subscribers pretty excited about that um, also go check out my other videos and turn on that bell so you get notifications of my next videos that are going to be coming up and coming because um, I've got a few of them but yeah guys I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye